Hey guys, up here again on a Saturday. We're about to get started on some regular workflow for the shop. But before we do, I just wanted to talk about what we're gonna be trying to adapt to our Datsun chassis for the car. What I have here is a billet pedal assembly from FFP Customs. This is a Frazier Fabrication and Performance. He makes uh, several nice billet pedal assemblies for several applications, uh, the Mustangs uh, in particular. Uh, he's got some universal ones, but what he's got here, he sent me some pieces, some just some random blemish pieces and different things to put together. And we're gonna try to fit this up on our chassis for the Datsun. So if what it does, it mounts all your hydraulics inside the car and they'll be pointing towards the seat with the master cylinder here and the same thing with the clutch master cylinder so that keeps everything really tucked low profile plus your pedals are coming from the top down towards the floor just like oem uh, a lot of your drag cars they mount the pedals on the floor which is fine but something in my mind tells me that's not going to be near as comfortable feeling under your feet whenever they pivot as the, a standard style you know hanging from the underneath the dash area so got your throttle pedal here got multiple adjustments for height here so you can move it up and down and like i said this is just pieces that he sent me to test fit so we can try to get something figured out as far as mounting it on the the bars instead of under an actual dash so some of these pieces like this throttle stop here where the position sensor and things go i've got this on wrong so don't pay attention to that i just kind of threw this together just guessing where things went uh, just to try to get it in there where i can get some sort of idea of what room we have but you can see here on the back I'm trying to look at my phone and see how the camera is viewing it comes in from the back there you have multiple adjustments of these brackets like I said I think this is Fox body stuff designed to go underneath the dash so uh, but you can move this forward or back depending on how long your legs are you've got probably 10 plus inches of adjustment right there maybe 12 so very nice piece and he sent me this other little piece to go on the side so I could move the brake pedal out here to simulate the clutch pedal but the way my bars are arranged that's going to get in my way of fitting it up so I just took it off right now so let's get this thing in the car and I'll show you how it's going to kind of line up and the only thing we're going to have to figure out is some type of tube clamp to go from the top of these to hook to my dash bar possibly from here around my steering column so that's how we plan to attach it and i'm gonna try to figure that out for him and mock something up send this all back to him and then he's gonna spit out something really nice that can attach to the chassis so let's uh Let's go over to the car and hold it up to it and uh, I'll show you how it fits in there. Okay, we're in the car and I'm gonna kinda hold it up there and just show you. The throttle cable, we're gonna go on this side of the column. Let's see if I can hold it up right there. Probably gonna go somewhere right in there with the pedal assembly. These will obviously have to be modified a little bit and some type of tube clamp made to clamp around the dash bar here is the plan and possibly one to go over around the column. So after, there should be plenty of room for the clutch master cylinder on the side just judging by how big they are they're they're pretty small but i think it's going to work out really well 
put up in there. As you can see, the throttle pedal's gonna work out really good. And the plan is to come up through and grab the camera here. Bear with me. I'm gonna take it off the stand because I've got the stand hooked into my race seat. Hang on now. There we go. See, I've got these spots in the cow panel here that I'm gonna hide all my hydraulics in here. So when we pull the hood off, the brakes, the clutch, master cylinder, uh, reservoir, everything will be right here hidden. So that'll be one of the big advantages to having that set up. So for right now, uh, I've just got to find some time to get something mocked up and get it back to Ryan. And uh, we'll go from there. I really got to get it mocked up and see how my feet land because this car is really tight inside and I'm about 5'10". So I've got longer legs than I do my upper body or I'm, I'm long legged, I guess you could say my, my build is. So I've got to have them as far to the firewall as possible for comfort. So that's our next step. Also on this floor, I know I did a video making this piece of sheet metal for the floor but i don't really know if i like it just because of this i know i said i was going to put something underneath it but i think it might end up being a little janky looking just the what i would have to do to make that you know nice and solid so i might end up just doing individual rolled panels and that way i can get them all to the same height on the top of each tube and it'll look nice and uniform it'll also make it a little bit stronger having all the uh, how it ties in each individual section like that so We'll get time to work on it some more. That's just a little update about the pedal stuff. I've had these for several weeks. I think like three weeks. I just haven't had time to get out here and actually mess with them. So that's that. And uh, we'll come to you next time with another update. See you guys. Y'all just thought the video was over. I got froggy and mocked this thing up with some zip ties. And I think it's gonna work out great. We're just gonna have to adjust our pedal length. Might have him make me a custom pedal shaft that is a little bit offset to get this pedal more of right there. That's where I really need it. But the issue with that is this was designed to mount flat and I've got it cocked up so this pedal is way forward of where it normally would be but as far as the spacing it's pretty good the throttle pedal could stand to go that way a little bit and up which it's got another adjustment to do that and we could put a bigger spacer to get it more towards the transmission and then the brake pedal we might can offset a little bit to give more room just where you know how your foot sits between the gas pedal and the brake, I want to be able to still have that pivot, just like I'm in an OEM car. And right now, my legs are a little bit too scrunched up for my liking, but that is a sweet little assembly and it's going to work out great. Let me show you from the front side here. You can see how it hooks up we'll probably i had to offset this bracket just because it's in the way the way we got our gussets up there where i can get it mocked up but get something right here to support on this bar or weld a tab or something and then get a couple tube clamp style supports up in the front and i think we'll have ourselves a pedal assembly 
not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be to get this worked out. And I've sent all the info over to Ryan and he's going to review it and we're going to go back and forth and see what the best option is to go from here. But I promise the video is done now. I just got kind of excited whenever I put it in the car at the end of the last segment of this video and figured I'd show you all how it uh, actually sits in there without me holding it. So see you next time.